If you're concerned about cancer prevention, especially in relation to common dietary choices, this episode of The Diary of a CEO with Dr. Thomas Seafried is for you. With over 30 years of research into cancer's origins, Dr. Seafried challenges conventional beliefs, asserting that cancer is a metabolic disorder driven by lifestyle factors more than genetics. Here are five actionable insights derived from Seafried's insights on metabolic health and cancer prevention. Prioritize metabolic health. Focus on improving your metabolic state through diet and lifestyle adjustments. Metabolic therapy, as Dr. Seyfried suggests, can be both a preventive measure and an effective treatment for cancer. This involves managing energy sources like glucose and glutamine, which cancer cells thrive on. Consider a ketogenic diet. Reducing carbohydrate intake and shifting toward a diet that supports ketosis may deprive cancer cells of the glucose they need to thrive. This aligns with Dr. Seyfried's idea that cancer cells rely on fermentation, energy production without oxygen, and are starved when deprived of sugars. Eliminate ultra-processed foods. As Dr. Seyfried highlighted, the rise in cancer correlates with the prevalence of modern processed foods. Minimizing or eliminating these foods, which often contain multiple ingredients and preservatives, can reduce inflammation and lower cancer risks. Regular exercise. Incorporating regular physical activity helps maintain metabolic flexibility and reduces inflammation. Movement, which has been engineered out of modern life, plays a critical role in maintaining overall health, reducing the risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. Stay informed about environmental factors. Dr. Seafried mentions that lifestyle changes, such as exposure to modern pollutants and processed food, have triggered an increase in cancer rates in previously low-risk populations, such as African tribes. Being aware of your environment and reducing exposure to harmful substances can be vital in cancer prevention. In this episode, Dr. Thomas Seafried, a leading cancer expert, shares groundbreaking insights on the origins and prevention of cancer emphasizing that cancer is not a genetic disease, but rather a metabolic disorder. According to Dr. Seafried, most cancer research misdiagnoses cancer as a genetic issue, which has led to ineffective treatments and no significant improvements in reducing cancer-related deaths. He points out that lifestyle factors, especially diet, play a pivotal role in cancer development, arguing that modern diets and processed foods contribute heavily to the rise of cancer cases. In particular, Dr. Seyfried highlights that this common food is making cancer worse, referring to sugar and carbohydrate-rich foods that fuel cancer's growth by supporting the fermentation process cancer cells rely on. Dr. Seyfried draws attention to the fact that cancer was extremely rare in traditional African tribes and other populations before they adopted a modern lifestyle. He shares a striking observation that wolves in the wild do not die of cancer whereas domestic dogs, subjected to human diets, have cancer as their leading cause of death. This reinforces his belief that lifestyle choices, particularly diet, are key drivers of cancer. One of the core concepts Dr. Seafried discusses is metabolic therapy, which targets cancer cells' dependency on fermentation for energy, a process in which cancer cells generate energy without oxygen, utilizing glucose and glutamine as fuels. By restricting these fuels through diet and specific lifestyle adjustments, Dr. Seyfried argues that not only can cancer be treated, but its risk can be significantly reduced. He mentions that terminal cancer patients undergoing metabolic therapy often outlive their predicted life expectancies. Dr. Seyfried also critiques the pharmaceutical and medical industries for perpetuating outdated treatment models, such as chemotherapy and radiation, which, while offering short-term tumor management, progression-free survival, do not significantly extend overall survival. He describes the industry as resistant to change because it is heavily invested in the genetic mutation theory of cancer, which underpins the development of highly expensive, yet often ineffective, cancer drugs. In his view, improving cancer outcomes requires a paradigm shift toward recognizing and treating cancer as a metabolic disorder. He stresses that early prevention through lifestyle changes such as adopting diets that limit glucose and glutamine, 
can have profound impacts on reducing cancer risk and improving long-term survival. Despite the slow pace of acceptance in the medical community, Dr. Seyfried believes that as more evidence emerges, metabolic therapy will become a standard approach in cancer care.